Hey guys, Cam Waters here. Welcome to another episode of Supercars 101 presented by NTI, where we make the complicated simple. Today we're at Tickford Racing to talk about everything engines. So best way to do it, start at the engine shop. Supercars 101, brought to you by NTI, Australia's specialist insurer. So to help fill us in on the engines, I found our guru, Simo, who's gonna help fill us in. Yeah, um, so here we are, we've got a Ford V8 supercar engine um, developed in-house. Um, basically, the, what forms the basis of this engine is the Windsor block, um, which is pretty much the only Ford part on the engine, the head from, aside from the heads. Um, but everything else is bespoke, built in-house, or custom ordered from some suppliers to make what we've got here. Uh, it's five litres uh, capacity, 10 to one compression, and it's got to run on E85 fuel, which is the category supplied fuel, and pretty much everything else is developed from around that basis. All the manufacturers have to adhere to the same basic rules, um, and then we present an engine to supercars, and everything is inputted into a, an ESD, or an engine specification document, and basically what they do is they take the engine up to supercars, they'll run it on the dyno to make sure it's under a certain amount of horsepower, and then they'll strip it down and measure every inch of the engine, and then lock in every part to make sure that uh, we've got parity amongst the category, so um, we don't make too much power, so no one's got a real advantage. Parity is what we're trying to achieve in the category as a whole, so that's what the uh, rules are really stringent now, so we're limited in what we can do, what we can develop, but, uh, what we try to do is focus on things we can develop, so looking at longevity uh, of parts and performance life throughout the life of the engine. So what's involved at the track to you know, keeping them serviced and, and looking after them? Yeah, so the majority of our work happens at the, at the workshop. So we do all our preparation here. So very little, if we can, at the racetrack in terms of servicing because we should be ready to go when we leave here. But um, I do basic maintenance checks, um, make sure the filters are clean and some tuning as well and just look over some data to make sure everything's performing well. Um, other than that, on hand for engine changes if required, but uh, I'm pretty much on hand just to make sure everything's running okay. Obviously you do all your work before you get to the race meeting, yep. not a lot during the race meeting, but uh, you know, after a, a good solid weekend and I've done a bit of limiter bashing, there's always <laughs> a little bit involved after the weekend. I'm yeah, guessing. yeah, absolutely. Um, you can uh, do the limited bashing all you want with uh, the performance you've been putting on lately and winning some races, it's okay by me. But yeah, we get back here um, and we do a better service of the engine. So we clean it, um, comes out of the car most of the time um, and we'll check all the valve clearances and do a bore scope, make sure everything's okay, no unusual wear, um, check the filters, make sure there's, there's no metal in there or you know something's going wrong. But we have a more thorough uh, inspection of the engine out of the car, back of the workshop, so she's ready to go for the next one. Oh, let's talk some numbers. How many engines have we got in here? You know, how long between service intervals? Yeah. Give me some numbers. Yeah, so we're producing approximately 635 horsepower at the flywheel and about 475 foot-pound of torque. Um, we are limited by how much power we can make over the rev range, um, and it's about where we place that horsepower. So. Um, you know, where it's drivable um, and where we can maximise the performance depending on what track we go to. We've got 12 engines um, to circulate through the four main series cars because we actually look after the Blanchard Racing Team car as well. Um, and then throw in a wild card and a DVS car as well, or DS2 car. Um, you know, there's a lot of engines that need to get around. So um, they come in here every four to 5,000 Ks for a rebuild. Um, but we service them between every race, um, leave no stone unturned. We, we check everything, just preventative maintenance stuff um, and just keep an eye on the engine and its components throughout its life to make sure it's um, operating at its optimum. Yeah, so. so after the, the four and a half thousand Ks, what? Yeah, so, <coughs> yeah, four and a half thousand Ks. Um, yeah, we don't replace everything, but a lot of components do get replaced, bearings and seals, rings and pistons. Um, but a lot of the components will go two or three lives even more. So a uh, block will probably go about 30,000 Ks. So, um, you know, that's a mainstay and, and the heads as well. But a lot of the other components are replaced. So valve train, lifters, pistons, uh, rings, all that. They get replaced pretty much every build. Um, yeah, so. And how much is that rebuild? Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> that one's a piece of string, look. 
To build a new one, uh, it's hard to put a figure on it. Um, Seventy to eighty thousand dollar mark, but then you add in all the R and D costs, and it starts to blow out well over a hundred hundred thousand dollars plus wages and whatnot. But um, yeah, you're looking at uh, fifteen to twenty k per rebuild uh, easily. Uh, a lot of um, a lot of expensive components in there. Um, that um, we have to run the best because of how hard we drive them. It's not like your road car where, you know, you're just putting around at two, or three thousand RPM every all day. You're, yeah. you're hitting, you know, seven and a half thousand all day. So we drive them really hard, but um, they're designed to do that as well. But I mean, the blocks will do about thirty thousand k's, whereas you know, a bit different from your road car, which well, you know, if looked after, can do hundreds of thousands of k's. But so there's a big difference. You know, we've just got to be on our game to make sure everything's running well. Um, we treat them well, and uh, you know, they they look after us. <laughs> well, thanks for showing us through the engine department, in Simo. And uh, thanks for watching another episode of Supercars 101. If you have any questions for us. For the next episode, make sure you get on Instagram or Facebook, hashtag supercars101 and fire through the questions. Supercars 101 brought to you by NTI, Australia's specialist insurer.